the time has finally arrived. It is, we're now into the finale of series 10. Probably the, one of the most hyped finales in a while, and one of the biggest finales in a while. And Stephen Moffat, um, he's always had this plan, and he's kind of been building this up the idea for a while. And he also said that and it's been a massive running sort of thing in interviews and stuff, that um, them saying if this is probably the best series and the best finale ever and it is it is it it may not be the best but it is definitely up there it's up there with the you know i think this may be peter capaldi's best episode his acting and everything in this episode is so brilliant as well as everybody else their acting is just great um the reveals at the end I th well me and my sister knew from the beginning uh, that this was this guy was definitely not you know he definitely was the master uh, and it was really obvious to be honest you know he looks the same he's putting on an accent and he just tries to make it seem like he is um, what he's not but what I do admire about this is the fact that instead of revealing who, you know, that, you know, because if you, uh, there's a scene, uh, when they were filming that scene and they go outside, uh, for example, um, you saw that he was running, he was walking with Bill, uh, and it is likely that somebody may have seen him, you know, John Sim taking off the prosthetics or whatever, if it even was him, it may it might not have been, but if it was him, kudos, you know, you did well, uh, and trying to disguise that, so well done, uh, BBC. Um, there was a point in this episode when I thought Missy was going to go bad again. That just messes up what they've been setting up this entire series. They've been setting up her going good, and then for her to change from to being bad is, in a matter of minutes, is really, really not good. Um, I'm sorry, but the only thing I really want to talk about is the finale, uh, is the final trailer, but I'm not going to talk about that today. So, um, we see, let, let's, let's start from the beginning. So, we see that the Doctor is regenerating. Oh my god, what a brilliant start to an episode. You know, he is... You know it's going to happen, but you don't know when it's going to happen. It's probably going to happen next week, even though it probably should happen in the Christmas special. Uh, I'm speaking too fast. In the Christmas special. But that was brilliant. Well done. Oh, my... I think that's brilliant. That was such a great episode. Uh, I can't... I'm, I know I'm the worst reviewer here. Just going, that was brilliant the entire time. But it really was. Uh, and I loved the black hole and the CGI in this episode is beautiful it's like a movie not a great movie but it, it looks like a movie it looks like a movie CGI budget you know obviously there's a little bit less than that because you know it's BBC and they don't really have the budget that you know Marvel or whatever has uh, Marvel Disney or whatever has so they w w work with what they have and it looks great for what they use I'm really interested to see how they made that effect and how it was different to other times um, Bill's getting shot then, uh, Bill's gets shot by this blue guy who we'll talk about in a minute, um, that was some brilliant, you know, work and cutting out that, uh, that bit of a stomach here, um, I do think that they tried to make it a little bit PG and just remove, you know, the, everything, uh, you know, no blood, you, you didn't really have to make it so cartoonish, you could have just added the bit of blood here or something, you know, there was no need to make a hole, um, unless obviously a pit pops up next week. Um, the entire episode revolves on this brilliant, well, really, really brilliant, uh, idea. What was I talking about? Oh, you're yeah, building a massive hole. Um, yeah, so, this entire episode revolves on this weird idea 
um, that Bill has become is becoming a Cyberman slowly, and she's slowly developing what I would presume to be the types uh, of the types of cyber technology, such as the bit in the chest that is obviously covered by whatever jumper she's wearing that day, um, and that kind of stuff is all covered up by just great, you know, filmmaking. I think that when we see her at the end and she's become a Cyberman. Well, it was quite obvious that it was going to happen, um, but it had a good payoff. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, I, yeah, so I do like I, I was when I saw that she was stand that there was something standing there. I kind of knew that she was a Cyberman, and then she came out, even though that it didn't make sense because they must have made her a Cyberman really quickly, because don't didn't. didn't he say that it, they had like development stages and they're working in progress. They built her quite quickly. Anyway, um, I like that she was saying that I I waited, and the eye the, the eye shot when the tear comes out of the eye and it comes out the side of my eye as well. That that's that's pretty brilliant. Um, the only problem that I have with this episode is it's very predictable. We were able to guess exactly what was going to happen. Uh, you know, I kind of there was a massive theory that you know this would happen. There was a huge, huge theory that Bill was going to become a Cyberman. There was a huge theory on the internet, but and no, there was a huge theory that Missy was going to die, but that didn't happen. But it still could happen next week. Um, but, but. We got one of them right, and then throughout the episode we noticed that that guy is definitely not the master, is he? He's so not the master, and we noticed that as well. But I would really think that this this episode may be my favourite of series 10. I know it's not much to say basing on one part, but if this second part is good, it is my favourite episode of series 10. Wow, um, I'm really looking forward to next week. Obviously, it'll be my What We Know So Far video, and I'm doing a trailer analysis that I'm planning on it to do for next series. Um, but I'm trying it out, and I'm doing a massive trailer analysis, uh, looking at the trailer for next week. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. This has been DHS Studios. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, make sure you give it a like. I might be smiling for the next seven hours, by the way, um, just to warn you. Just like this all the time. If you like to see me somewhere, it's just. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching this. It's been years, years, years. Goodbye.